Big time saver here, cutting around kitchen cabinets in toe kicks with a toe kick saw. In past years, before all sorts of cool power tools became available, this kind of project basically took hard chisel work by hand, or you could remove the cabinets. Bring on the toe kick saw, baby, or sometimes called a flush cut saw, but, but, um, don't use a worn out blade like the one shown here. You'll see why. I'll bet you can see already. At least the smoke alarm didn't go off. This is the first time we saw this tool in action, and the biggest problem was cutting all the way through the existing material, but we didn't notice why until the film was being edited. The first example is pretty obvious, but not, we didn't see it. But you know some guys that just want to crank that nifty tool up and let her rip. Folks, it needs a flat surface to glide on. And the second example shows why the cut wasn't going all the way through. Had a piece of plywood or something that matched the thickness of what was being cut was laid next to it, the tool would have glided like a charm, easily making the cut necessary. Here it's angled. Other complications that will affect how the tool works is taking care of any obstructions before the work starts. Here some screws had to be set deeper. This tool is a lifesaver once all the proper preparation is out of the way. Had a sharp blade and an experienced operator been at the helm, this area could have probably been removed in five minutes. Instead, it took about 15. If you're up against areas with this tool that have a finished surface, it's a wise choice to protect it. Here we see blue painter's tape is used to help guard against any potential scratching this tool can cause. The toe kick saw won't get everything, especially corners and other problem areas. This is where a multi-function tool can come into play, or the old hammer and chisel trick. Pretty slick, isn't it? We thought so.